Hello, welcome to another episode of my Minecraft beta series. Now, last episode, if you saw it, we overhauled our entire dock. And in this episode, we're going to be heading back to the town because, yet again, I would like to expand it. So now, I still got a little bit of terrain editing to do over here, uh, but I want to get a town center right where I'm standing. So I was thinking a fountain right in the middle with a bunch of market stalls all around it. And then all around that, we can get some more buildings in. So hopefully we can get a lot done this episode and it'll turn out well. But first, we've got to go grab a dog. And today I would like to bring Jasper with me. Oh, and as you can see here, I already had this pond, but I didn't really showcase it. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, this was already here. I just added the waterfall and some sugar cane. Uh, and recently I put this picnic blanket up here. I think it's nice. Now, where is Jasper? I think this is Jasper right here, actually. Now, while we're in the house, I should have some materials left over. Yeah, we've got some cobblestone, some gravel, glass, and some white wool. And there's also some blocks in here we may need. Okay, uh, no logs, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to have to cut down some more trees. Okay, now, first of all, got to get down the path. So the path is just going to be a circle uh, with enough room for the fountain in the middle. So let's see what we can get done. All right, there we are. Uh, we got the path down, and I've done this little water fountain here. Uh, also, as you can see, I've put some outlines for buildings. Uh, we're not going to do this now. I'm going to put the stools down first. Uh, but I just wanted to lay it out so I knew I had enough room. And I've also put a fence here. Uh, I thought it could separate the area off a little bit better than just the uh, ledge. So uh, I don't think... No, I don't have enough green wool uh, or wood. So I'm going to have to go collect a bunch of that. I think I'm going to need a cactus farm soon uh, because that over there is just not doing it for me. But it's going to have to do for now.
Okay, we've got all the stools down. Uh, you see I've put them on like an angle here. Just a bit different from everything else. And I like them, I think they turned out well. Yeah, and the uh, the colours, see so yeah, I've got them over there on the ships and now here. Uh, but the plan is uh, that different places in the world are going to have different colours. So, um, Spawnton is green. Uh, maybe when I do the desert place, which I want to do, uh, that can be blue. Uh, maybe another one's red. So we can like colour code all the different settlements. Uh, but before we move on, there's a few things I forgot to go over at the beginning. Uh, one is the clock tower. Uh, someone recommended I change the the clock face from world to snow to uh, separate it up a bit. And I thought that was a good idea. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, and I also put buttons around which act as those big numbers you see. Uh, and there's 12 of them. So it works out pretty well. And then another thing down here. Got another comment from another person. Uh, wanted me to name this warehouse after their dog. So here is Poop Dog Storage. Alrighty, so next thing to do would be to just decorate all of these. Uh, I think I'm going to have them themed. So uh, different stools are going to have different things in them. So maybe we have like the bakers here, the grocers here, the blacksmiths there. You know, just different themed stools. A beach just having all of them selling the same thing. So let's just get started with that. Okay, there we go. Done all the stools. I'm going to go through all of them now. Uh, that's where they sell books, pumpkins, uh, that's like crafting, woodworking, uh, the mining one, cakes, uh, plants, and then mushrooms and redstone. I think that is pretty cool. So next thing to do, I think I'll lay out a couple more buildings. I'll put some more fences down and then maybe some bushes around. Okay, I think that's a good start. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do now is just bring up these buildings. Uh, same style as we've done with all of these. Um, although, uh, it is getting a bit samey. So I was thinking maybe we could um, switch up the roofs. Uh, go with the stairs instead of the uh, the stair block, stair block thing we got going. So we have some variation. Um, and I think, uh, maybe off camera, I'll go through and change one or two of these to uh, lower triangle roofs. So let's get started with that.
All right. I think those are nice. Uh, and you see here, I've put some spruce logs down. Uh, because what I want to do next is go through and add some custom trees. Uh, now, very basic custom trees. Uh, I'm going with cypress trees. They're like the uh, very uniform tall ones. I just want to have a bunch of those around here. And regarding the, uh, the birch trees I already have, uh, I think I'm going to replace those uh, with the cypress trees. Uh, but I can do that later on when I do the roofs. I actually really like that. That's cool. I'm definitely gonna add those around town. Right, so before we move on to the interiors of all these new houses, uh, there's a couple things I want to go over. Uh, the dock. Not entirely happy with it. But you see here, I've already kind of laid it out. But I just want to cut all of this out and then bring the water back through here uh, where I'm gonna put a bridge over it. Uh, it's just I didn't really like how much empty space there was. And I think that'll switch it up a bit more. Uh, and I also want to do it through here. So I'll just, again, cut all of this out. Uh, have a little bridge going over uh, for this bit and for that bit there. Uh, and I'm also not a huge fan of the uh, the storage I put all over the place. Uh, I was trying to emulate like crates, piles of crates. Uh, but I don't think I did it very well. And I have like a general idea for what I want to do for that. Kind of like this. So I'm going to use crafting tables, uh, some note blocks also would work. Uh, and again with the ores I did over there, I uh, could also have a few of those. Uh, just I don't want it to be as like messy and random. So yeah, basically just going to fix up the dock a bit more. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it um switches it up a bit. Uh, you see, I've also done a... This is a cart, uh, and there's also like a slope here, uh, which you can slide the logs down. And then over here, just more of the same. And then I put another platform up here. All right, there's still some more work I want to do on the dock, but for this episode, we're going to leave it there. Now, I've been doing some playing around in a uh, testing world, and I am not happy with uh, the interiors I've already done. When some of them are fine, like the uh, the bakery, I still do very much like this building. I think it works well. Uh, but the blacksmith, I, I don't like. Uh, mainly what I've used for uh, storage, like 
what I've done here with the storage is a bunch of chests and bookshelves, crafting tables, just scattered all over the place. Um, oh yeah, and I also want to get rid of the TVs and the laptops uh, because they don't really fit. Uh, so maybe off camera, every now and then I'll work on one of these. Uh, but for this episode, uh, I want to see what I can do for these new buildings. Although the last time I did uh, interiors without planning them out beforehand, uh, they do get pretty messy. So either what's going to happen now is there's going to be a little montage of all the interior decorating or I'm just going to cut ahead in the video. So well, let's do that. Okay, yeah, uh, too messy. Finished all three of the interiors, so I'm going to go through them now. Here's the first one. It's the first floor. Got the kitchen over there, the living area uh, upstairs. See, I've uh, added wardrobes now. We've got the second floor, we've got a bed down. See the decoration I've added. It's a bit neater than what I usually have, but there's nothing up there. On to the second building. Again, got the kitchen at the back, got a sofa, dining table. Up here, another bed, another sofa, wardrobe. Uh, I have done the attic for this one, not much going on. And finally the third one over here. Uh, it's a very small one this one is. Uh, but yeah, got all the stuff we usually have in these buildings. Uh, apart from a sofa, I couldn't fit that in anywhere. Uh, but there is a bench in the attic. Alright, so that is that. So I am very happy with how this place looks, uh, especially the fountain. Uh, these houses in the future will continue all the way around here. I just I want to do a bit more planning on the uh, layout of the rest of the town. I, I think I said before, it will cover this entire place, which I think I will do some work on next episode. Uh, I, I do want to do a church eventually, so we could do that. Could be a nice place for it. Mm, yeah, I think I'll do that. I think that's a good idea. Uh, but until then, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.